Hey, so I guess next week it's like Christmas or something. So that's crazy. Anyway, what that means is that we have gone through four Sundays or we'll be about to go through four Sundays of Advent and we've looked at hope. We've looked at peace. We've looked at joy. And so this weekend we're going to be looking at love and we'll be looking at the story of David and how he wanted to build a temple to God. And we'll be looking at at the story of Mary and how the Lord came to her through Gabriel and said, hey, you're going to give birth to Jesus. And we're going to be looking at, at the way that, that David kind of thought about and looked at and sort of his lens into his rule and reign. And then we're going to look at Mary and her responses and what that tells us about Jesus' eternal rule and reign. So join us here at 824 Laurel Street on Sunday at 10 o'clock or online at facebook.com backslash Communitas Church. And, uh, and we'll be there for all the fun. And so uh, a few things as we're thinking about it, and what, and what we're going to kind of see is that um, David is, is obedient and he, and he does a lot of things. But part of why he wants to build this temple is... is is he's, he's kind of blending in with with the rest of of the culture. Is his, his neighbor did it, so he did it. So he thinks like, well, if if it worked well for this Canaanite king to build this thing to this Canaanite god, then wouldn't it work well for me? And the Lord's like, mm, not quite, dude. But uh, I, I like your I like your attitude and your energy. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just redirect you this way. And then he makes his covenant, and he says, I'm gonna I'm gonna build on this this covenant and. It, and and it's going to be eternal. It's going to be everlasting. There, there's going to be some some interruptions. It's going to look a little different. It's not quite going to be what you think it it was going to be all along. Because I'm I'm an unexpected king. I'm building an unexpected kingdom. You might go like, what is that going to look like? Well, nine hundred years later, then when Mary is dwelling in the backside of beyond, in this place that nobody really wanted to go, the dialect was different. So when the, even when the angel shows up and chats with her, it's like. She doesn't really understand what he's even saying. But she has faith. And she responds not with the words of, of thy will be changed, Lord, but thy will be done, Lord. And she obeys not because that she's trying to earn favor, but because she believes what's pronounced over her by the angel is that, Mary, you are favored. And so she knows that this obedience doesn't earn her favor or earn her points with the Lord. She's already favored. When she already has all the points, there's, there's, there's no more keeping score or comparison is over communion and companionship with the Lord is in. And so the message is, is, we, is that we obey because we are loved, not so we can be loved. So some things to consider this week as we get ready for the holidays. What's it like to know that you're loved not because what you've done, but because of what Jesus has done. What's it like to know that you, you, you don't have to and that you can't earn it? And then two, just going into, into this next week, into this next year, into this next month. How will you love people in light of this truth? How will you love people in light of the fact that, that the love that God has for you is not based on what you can do or what you've done? or what you can't do, or, or what you won't do, or any of that, but by Jesus on the cross, by his sacrifice and his service. And so how does that begin to change the way that we view ourselves, view our neighbor, view the Lord? So more on that this Sunday at 10 o'clock at at uh, 824 Laurel Street, we'll be masked up and distanced or online at facebook.com backslash Communitas Church. I'll pray for us now and look forward to seeing you this weekend. So Heavenly Father, we thank you for uh, for this new kingdom that you're bringing in, this new way of living, this new way of being that you are, you are waking us up to as believers. And Jesus, we thank you for your sacrifice and your demonstration of what it is to live a holy life. And so, Holy Spirit, we pray uh, that, that like Mary, we would be overshadowed by your presence. And that you would continue to work in and through us to bring and be your light in the community and around the world. Amen. All right, have a great rest of your weekend. We look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Go in peace. <laughs>